Hello folks, Puck here and welcome to ET ATS. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep exploring Highway 50. Um, just making sure windows are up. Okay, big thuds there, a bit of damage occurred. Trying to hook up this trailer. One of those things that seems sometimes to be a bit too low. I don't know why. Um, anyway, let's get stuck in. We're going to show you the route we're going to do today. We are taking a, uh, a bucket. So we can take in this Volvo bucket here, you can see. Um, I wish we could get out of the cab. If you can see it there, uh, we are taking that here today um, from Selena, where we left off last episode, and we're going to Montrose. Uh, let's see. So here, we are picking up here. We're going along again, like I said. We're going to stick to the 50, and we are going to deliver. It's quite a long drive, uh, just outside the skirts, outside the skirts, out, <laughs> outside Montrose, uh, down here. We, it looks like we no, we don't pass a viewpoint there, but that's fine. But we are going to go through Montrose uh, Grand Junction as well, um, which is quite cool. Uh, we're not going to detour through and explore all that because I'll probably do that another day anyway. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. And looks like we probably bypass a little um, viewpoint there. But again, I probably uh, we won't touch into that. We're just going to get into the drive. No alternatives uh, to the thing. My tracky, my trucky app is not screen but i can refer you to there's about a 15 minute drive in real life just going to just double check some of the stats here we have 11 hours before we need to sleep got the damage that just incurred now by the lovely uh trailer and we're about half a tank of gas well not so we'll look at getting a probably uh this six one nine. yeah we've got enough pet um petrol well, that was going to be even more sacrilege We've got enough. We've got more than enough fuel to get us uh, to our destination. Anyway, we will probably do all that anyway. So we are taking us a quite a low trailer. But I think we should be okay with this actually, along the route, along the route. I say route when I'm in this game for some reason. I don't know, but it is anyway. I'm hoping my. Uh, I've had apologies in advance. Okay, if the audio is cockeyed everywhere in this game, or today this recording. Um, I did a recording yesterday of my uh, well, farm sim and just the audio and the editing process, my audio came through so loud um, and it was picking up all my wheels and my mouse, it was just a really annoying, I'm um, hoping it's not too bad, the final ep um, upload, uh, but yeah today I was trying to fly around, I don't know why my audio settings keep changing, uh, I don't touch the damn things, I don't touch it, I don't change it from streaming either. All the same and for some reason today i've just noticed I've been playing around so apologies i'm hoping you're going to pick up some game to sound i'm hoping my voice isn't too loud apologies like i said if it has i've got a noise gate on but i just really don't know how to play around with that shit. um so if anyone's got some if i use streamlabs obs i guess obs itself would be fairly sim straightforward simple as well if anyone uses streamlabs and plays these games and has a really good like a noise gate settings for stuff I use a blue snowball, the white one, you know. Just let me know. I love to, uh, yeah. See, weeks ago I thought I had it set, and I did. No, no issues, and they just keep changing. I don't know if it's because of updates with the, not maybe the game, but I would say it's probably more like maybe updates with the, com, you know, computer updates, Microsoft and shit. I really don't know. Um, I've got no, f can't go into my microphone and do any changes by the computer um, if that makes any difference you know what I mean like going into the sound settings um, and changing them on the snowball it doesn't thing there because it's a USB plug-in one <sighs> we'll see I don't really want to invest in a proper a new a different microphone just yet I mean but um, maybe the microphone's on its way up because like I said a few episodes ago a few of you were saying that you know I was a bit low in comparison and I made some changes there um, Again, without having touched anything, and now all of a sudden it's loud as anything. It's like a bullhorn. So maybe the microphone is on its way out, and I just need to probably get a new one. But do invest in a new one. I'll make sure I get a proper stand as well, uh, like a, a mic, you know, can attach to the desk. And um, I can, because this one with the blue, the snowball microphone, obviously it has the little, you know, stand for the on the desk itself just sits on the desk but I probably want to invest in getting a proper stand so I can you know one of those microphone uh, one booms I think they're called what are they anyway 
Uh, so yeah, apologies, long-winded apology for uh, Sandy sound issues here. Um, obviously, I have yet to edit this together, so it may, um, yeah, we'll see, have a go. But anyway, it is what it is. And on top of that, today is Friday. Uh, good Friday. So happy Good Friday to you all. I hope everybody is well. And um, you've had a good week and you're having a good weekend. By the time this comes out, it would have been the weekend. So Easter would have been uh, just behind us. So I hope you had a good Easter, folks. Um, and I hope you're having a good short week before probably some of you up ahead as well. Just still trying to get to 70 here. Actually, you're taking a World of Truck contract. So we are limited to 70, uh, 65. I'll keep my foot down on the pedal here before I check in uh, cruise control. I'm going to like this view. I'm going to take a, a couple of screenshots coming up. Here we go. We're locked in at 65. All right. Go through here. We are, like I said, we are 65 locked and loaded because uh, I do want to truck country. Look at this. Meow. Ready? Aim. Oops. <laughs> okay, Parks. Slow it down, son. Meow. 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 Right, just stay on the road. <laughs> All right, so this is a 12 minute job, so uh, we will jibber and jabber for a while here, I think. But yeah, so we are, this is our job. Uh, we are going to Montrose. So we are going to just explore the rest of State Highway 50. Sorry, State Highway is New Zealand term. Route 50 or Route 50, uh, US 50, um, all the way to, uh, as far as it goes on the current um, ATS DRC's uh, maps anyway, so it goes into Colorado and we'll go to the end of it for the next episode, which will take us, I think, just past Lamar or somewhere like that, and make us further. Um, that'll be the next episode. We will finish off Route 50. And thank you to uh, Don for the comments. Uh, us in the last video, if you had any, uh, you know, roads or uh, routes or any sort of destinations you could recommend or drives. Uh, he recommended a few there so thanks Don for that I've made a note of them and so we will probably look to explore those in the next few after we've done uh, Route 50 here um, the future so it's quite good to do a bit of change and something from you guys uh, uh, as well so if you do have any uh, you know if you play this game especially and you have uh, any suggested routes that you would like me to drive uh, even if I have driven them before uh, off camera I'm happy to do so on camera um, for you yeah I'd be more than happy to do that um, I've explored all the cities in California but it doesn't mean you have explored all the roads and there's a lot uh, around scattered around so feel free to comment down below and give me any of your suggestions of some uh, roads that you uh, like to see I'm gonna slip it we are speeding parks yeah yeah that's why you're catching up to all the traffic quite well, isn't it? So, yep. Yeah. We're just cruising through here. Beautiful. Just stick on this road, uh, this uh, lane for now. We are still going, uh, we're not speeding now, we're going at 50. Uh, but we are still making good uh, progress on the traffic. Because of this double coming up. Now, um, also, now uh, the comment was left uh, by Frog on a ETS video regarding um, possible uh, convoy sessions and things for the community. Uh, like I mentioned, I really did reply saying it's a quite a good idea, and it is a good idea. I really do uh, like that, and it's something I've kind of had void with the idea at times before, previously, but it's just like with New Zealand time zone. Uh, it's it's gonna make things it makes things tricky, but like I'm very uh, very flexible at the moment because I don't have a job, so I can accommodate uh, if you know suit a better time zone sort of deal. But um, yeah, so keep an eye out for that in the future. There's no promises. I will always try and do what I can uh, with it. We're not gonna get in there because perfect doesn't respond indicators. But it'd be something quite fun to do. And Zilla, uh, yeah, definitely uh, I will hit you up uh, regarding a ETS convoy as well. I want to thank everybody as well. I'll put it up on the screen here. 
uh, for a great month for my YouTube channel um, of well, March, I guess. Um, and a massive lot of love uh, came from uh, the convoy session videos that uh, Zilla and I did. I want to just thank each and every one of you, new subscribers and existing subscribers as well, for all your ongoing support. And of course, again, Zilla, thank you very much for you know doing that convoy session with me. It was really good fun, really great fun. Um, but I also helped uh, just generate a little bit of interest over my way. Two eyes, you know, YouTube doesn't make it easy for tiny channels. But thanks everyone. I really do appreciate all your ongoing support. Well, thank you very much. Right, let's get going. We've got about eight minutes to go uh, on this anyway. And we had, yeah, it's, it's back to 80, so let's cruise it up. Not sure why, well, I presume we were on the low sleeve speed down there because we're going through the uh, the canyon or however, whatever it's called there. That's all right. So, no, we're not going to Maui, we're going south. Nice, beautiful scenery. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ready? One. Oh, hang on. Slightly drifting. Mm. Okay, we're merging with traffic. <laughs> Don't want to be in that view. And as a car comes in, probably just takes it, and I'll take it out. That's all right. We got a little. There you go. You got a little bit of a meow for you. Outside view. Now uh, driving outside view is crap. I'm enjoying uh, State Highway 50. All right. Apologies again. State Highway 50. Route 50. Um, really did enjoy the uh, loneliest road section. Second time doing that, of course, like I mentioned. But um, I, I'm just liking the yeah, transcontinental part that we have here. Again, it is a transcontinental highway from um, west of Sacramento all the way to Maryland. Uh, Ocean City, I think it is, if, if I do recall correctly, that information. So um, these transcontinental routes will be really good, especially if they do eventually, fingers crossed, knock, knock on wood and all that jazz, um, you know, rabbit's feet and stuff. They do complete all this 50 state or 48 lower states. It'd be brilliant to be able to do a complete and utter transcontinental um, I know you can already kind of do it if you get like coast to coast modern stuff but you know they're very uh, I did have that installed and play on it a, a couple of years ago but uh, I just yeah very empty at the moment uh, so I'd rather just wait until uh, the, the official DLCs come out and oopsie we've had a few teasers with um, Montana and a little bit of Texas come out um, from the blog so you know, I'm, I'm expecting Texas uh, end of this year, I would say. It's a big, obviously a big work. And welcome to colorful Colorado. So obviously there's going to be a lot involved, massive state. Uh, so imagine what they're going to get involved with that. I mean, you've got some major cities in there too, you know. Um, you know Dallas, Houston, just to name a couple. San Antonio. Oh, I can bypass. No. And of course, the different climates and environments of uh, Texas. A lot of work to, to be done. I'm looking forward to seeing. And then it'd be good to have Montana come out as well. Kind of um, pop off the northern section here. Which is a good part. Kind of complete the. Uh, a little bit there and then hopefully from from texas hopefully they'll go state north going into obviously oklahoma that we can always wish i think the games in my opinion definitely do keep having the support here community fan base and the player base so i do believe uh, that they'll keep doing the dlcs as long as they keep performing there's something they did say a, a long 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 time ago kind of all you hope for really I know myself, I think the DLCs are definitely worth it for what the content you get because they also do changes to the actual rest of the game. But also the fact that you, um, I mean, for me, price-wise, very reasonable. Um, New Zealand dollars, we always pay a lot more than the US or the UK. Um, so, you know, sometimes the price may be seem all right for you guys, but for us it's like, oh, it's a bit, you know, it's uh, not really worth it. but. All the SCS DLCs and everything, it's definitely always has been worth the price. Um, even like Iberia and the new ones, it was like a no-brainer. Because I knew kind of what you're going to get. You're going to get some good quality stuff and some support and 
know, updates and changes, but you're also going to get a reasonably priced DLC. And when you consider sort of the hours that you put into this game as well, it should be good. I'm surprising I did have a look the other day on my laptop and it said I only had about like 170, 180 odd hours in this game. Now I did buy this game a lot um, later than ETS 2, um, but it was great. Gee, some studs there. I could, um, I could always, I was like quite shocked at how low it is. And then looking at ETS, it was um, 2, it was only like 300 and something. Gee, like, yeah, I could swear I played a lot more. Um, I don't know if it, it should take into account what I'm playing up here on my... Um, PC because I'm still using the same Steam account um, and I know in the past there's been times when I've played offline but my understanding is I could be wrong here that um, any offline play is also included in the stat you go straight off um... ah damn it but I might just sneak past that because technically it was orange yellow uh, but never mind we'll take that fine Oh yeah, anyway, sometimes it's like, huh? But it is what it is. At least I can see the red lights here. And we are on our way. Right you home, Joe. What do you know, foe? Oops, sorry, buddy. I took that a bit wide. But it's not too bad. I just need to. I didn't need to slam the brakes there. Sometimes it's just over, over on the, on the pedals. Touch sometimes just makes you almost come to a complete halt. A right lane, I don't know what that said. But it's a green light so I can go. <laughs> I think it probably said don't turn on red or something. Or uh, can't turn on red, I don't know. Oh, shit, my brakes. I knew that was coming. I saw it. Oh, well, there's a mishap for you. 2% damage to the trailer. Bloody Nora. But we, the main important thing is we have 0% damage to the cargo. So we won't get any penalties uh, for damage, which is good. I knew as soon as I was turning that, I thought, yeah, I haven't taken, given myself enough room to turn here. Yep, Bob's uncle, Mary's mother. That's correct. So we are now going into and through Montrose. So... I don't know why that came up, though. Don't want to get caught speeding. So we are in Montrose. We just passed Tesla there. Maybe just quick, get a quick peek of uh, the branding in our window. You know, it's not slam into the back of an ambulance. I'm pretty sure we don't want to do that. But a uh, bit of a traffic here, so I'll come back once we get started with these through these lights, folks. Righty, oh, they stayed red for quite a while actually. Main track of lights, I guess, looks like it's a, quite a major crossroads. Oh, yeah, it makes sense, I guess. Traffic lights always seem to take longer on red when you want them not to, you know? When you're in a bit of a hurry or something. I don't like, it's just everything. Teams do you always seem to catch all the red lights, they always seem to take forever. And are we going to make this lead light? Uh, we'll see. Ambo is turning. Uh, Yes, we are. I just didn't want the ambo to, to brake check a bit by again, and it would have been like, ah, slam on the brakes. But we made it, no problems there. Oh, watch the trailer parks, you keep forgetting. Low trailer, quite a wide one. Um, it's a big bucket that we are carrying. Obviously, it's for it's a Volvo, a rock bucket, so yeah. I mean, it's worth six and a half, or just oh, 6,600 pounds. Uh, so yeah, it is not, not, a, not a heavy thing. But, um, uh, you know, someone's farm, I believe. Well, it's a rock one, so it won't be a farm as much. It'll be just a construction. Go on to the dog kind of way. Ooh, 
we've got a fair way to go yet by look so look what i'm going to do guys i'm going to take a little bit of a cut here and i will get back to you when we're pretty much at our destination if so Okay, folks, we are uh, on some old dirt road, and we're going to try and navigate this as best as we can. Uh, we've had a few, yeah, the damages. Uh, we've had a few hits and scratches to the trailer. <laughs> These roads, especially at night time, are not very good. And I do have my high beams on. Uh, but we're almost at our destination. You can just start to see the ring road around now. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, <laughs> this road just literally crept up on me from the main road. Uh, and it's just like, oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, may or may not have been a couple of cars um, with a slightly mm, damaged bumpers. Nothing huge or nothing crazy, just backing into them to try and get around into here. But <laughs> oh, we are approaching our destination on this rocky, on this gravel road. You may, you probably are hearing the steering wheel going absolutely bonkers. Uh, force feedback. Now just make sure I don't want to hit anybody. Gosh, gosh, what a words coming out. I don't know what they are. It's just like I don't know what I'm, where I'm going. Words, <laughs> and we. I don't think we want to go over the side because it's a. Uh, yeah, I think pretty sure the uh, the side of the roads are very much a cliff on one side, as you can see. But on the other side, it's a fall. And I don't want to be doing any of that I mean as spectacular as it may very well be for you guys uh, it won't be for me yes I can see my rattling of the wheel is going to be loud and clear um, <laughs> but it is how it is we still got a wee bit to go my goodness gracious this episode but uh, yeah you're gonna join me on this adventure uh, let's see if we can stay on the road here we're only doing 20 but uh, it's not too bad now. We should be okay, he says. Famous last words. Probably not a delivery that you want to really be doing at night time, if I would say so. Uh, but to be fair, it's a little bit of my fault because all the mucking around with the audio, I still had the game running in the background. I still had just had my truck parked there <laughs> waiting for me to, to start going. Newmont, here we are. Oh my goodness, now we're going to get through and cross this bridge here. Oh, right. We looked at that successfully. Dear Newmont, please move your location. <laughs> I'm presuming Newmont is some sort of a mining company um, or something. So we we'll go straight ahead here. Yes, we do. And we'll see how we go. Brilliant. Okay. Well, we've made it successfully. Uh, whether the parking is going to be done, who knows? But we are there. We'll just have to pull up and see where he wants it. And once we get to the uh, dispatch. Yep, got a very uh, It's just standing there, arms crossed. I was like, oh, bloody hell. You're a bit late, mate. You should have come through to join the day. And we'll just stop here and uh, I'll just go and see where he wants us. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got to be weighed first, I guess. Go through over the way station. Looks like we're not too bad. And it's somewhere over here, I believe, that we are needed to be. There we go. Let's try and get some width there. As much as we can and then come in as probably not going to get this um, but that's how it is mate I'll probably just take it here as it is we're not going to worry about the XP <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me all right folks let's have a look gold rush that's a gold mine achievement up progress first out of one out of ten nice 
So yeah, we didn't get any extra parking XP. That's fine. We've got long distance uh, bonus and a high value cargo plus a bonus as well. A little bit of XP there. And 12,800 US dollar. Uh, and after that, we should be ready to rock and roll. As always, I want to thank you all for your uh, support. Thank you for everything. And if you've enjoyed this video, press the like button. Subscribe if you are new and want to see more content. Ring the ding a ling a ling about. And uh, comment down below. Until next time, I am Pakira. Take care of yourselves and each other. Yakaha. Well. <laughs> oh, goodness, that road. Bit of damage. Oh, never mind. I need to go and fix the damage, I think. 9% now to the cab. Oh, well. Anyway, I need some sleep. <laughs>